Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 18 Franchise Mode with your Quebec Nordiques. Yes, we are back here again to play through the first half of the 2022-2023 NHL season. Now, of course, last episode, we went through the 2022 NHL offseason, including the entry draft and free agency, and we have amassed one of, if not the best team I have ever created in NHL 18 franchise mode. I pretty much say that every year, I know, I've got to be honest, but this year, I am not joking, ladies and gents. We managed to sign Philip Forsberg in the offseason. Anthony Mantha didn't want to sign with the team, so we gave up Reinhardt a first, second and third for nothing. However, we managed to get repaid by signing Philip Forsberg. Ramsey's grown up to an 87 overall, and we've got a, a completely new fourth line made up of either, well, made up of low elite players that we either drafted a couple of years ago or are completely undrafted. We have an absolutely stunning team here, ladies and gents. So let me show you the 2022-2023 Quebec Nordiques. On the first line, we have free agent signing Philip Forsberg, who actually took a $500,000 pay cut to come and join the team. Dylan Larkin, who's up at an 87 overall, and Taylor Hall on the right wing. Then we have Drew Ramsey. It's not Dylan Ramsey, sorry, it's Drew Ramsey. 87 overall, 21 years old. We still have two years of his entry-level contract left. This is the biggest steal in the NHL, ladies and gents. Then we have Leah Sanderson and Andre Burakovsky. Then we have Nick Ritchie with an 81 overall Colin Lee and a Nick Baptiste. Then we have Harold Green, who we drafted in the third round of our first draft here. Was it our first draft? Yeah, it was. No, it was our second draft in the NHL, I believe. I can't remember. Then Tuminen, who he only drafted a couple of years ago in the third round, has managed to make his way onto the team. And Patrick Howard, who was undrafted, and we've managed to sign him. He's a 23-year-old low elite player, 80 overall. So this forward core is absolutely incredible. Green will grow up to at least an 80 overall again. Guarantee it. Then defense, we have Jonas Brodeen with Eric Carlson, of course. Jacob Larson with Sammy Vatanen. And an 81 overall Ivan Nikitin with Travis Hamanick. Then goaltenders, we have Eunice Corposalo, Philip Grubauer. And scratched, we have Jake Kreisky and Chris Tierney. Chris Tierney will be the first one on the trade block, to be honest. He's earning $2 million and he's not actually playing. So you know what? Let's do that first before we start the season. I am so happy with this team, ladies and gents. Let's just put Christiani on the trading block. He's not playing any games, so he may as well be there. Petterstrom, I don't really want him to be there because he's looking like he'll be a solid player. So if we go, where is he? Where is he? Christiani, you were on the trade block. Sorry, mate. I know it's going to upset you. We also traded away last, uh, last episode Evgeny Sveshnikov for a couple of second round picks. So that worked out really nicely for us. And we also traded away... We traded away somebody else, didn't we? Oh, I can't remember who it is now. But anyway... The 22-23 NHL season, this is the year we win the Stanley Cup, ladies and gents. You heard it here. I've made that declaration at the end of last episode and the beginning of this one. We are going to win the Stanley Cup. We have the team capable of doing it. Now let's go and prove it. Here we go. Game one of the season. Let's simulate period by period. At the Videotron Center against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Leas Anderson against Evgeny Malkin for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, so... 2-1 game. Dylan Larkin and Philip Forsberg scores his first goal as a member of the Quebec Nordique. Scoresberg and Phil Kessel adds one late in the period. 11 shots to 8 in favour of Quebec. Second period. Okay, it's a 3-3 game. Malkin and Zuccarello score, but Drew Ramsey manages to get his first of the season. 20 shots apiece going into the third period. Come on, Nordiques. Let's win this game. Let's not start this season with a loss, lads. You know you can do it, Nordiques. I believe in you. Oh, Evgeny Malkin, go away, please. Oh, I hate it when I come up against them. Thank you. Colin Lee, third line forward, gets his first goal of the season. We've got some firepower on our hands, ladies and gents. And as the period comes to an end, we're going to overtime in game one of the season. In fairness, it is Pittsburgh. They're a very good team. 31 shots to 30 in favor of Quebec, though. Overtime. Yes, Colin Lee! That's what I like to see, mate. That's beautiful. Malkin with three points. Colin Lee, a pair of goals. And the receiving hairline, Phil Kessel, with two points. I mean, in fairness, we won the game in OT, so we should, we should have had a few more stars, I think. Hey, good job. I expect goals to be accomplished. Hey, we won our regular season home opener against Pittsburgh. Colin Lee, a pair of goals in game one. Not too bad. <clears throat> so, 
against the Toronto Maple Laughs for game two. Here we go. I'm not wasting any time here, folks. We're, we're doing perfectly. I think we've got a solid team here. Nashville undefeated so far. They have the first overall pick. James Neal against Dylan Larkin for the opening face-off at Air Canada Centre. First period. Okay, so 2-0 lead to them. James Neal and Austin Matthews score on Corpus Allo. Nine shots to eight in favour of Quebec. Second period. Okay, we managed to get him back. Philip Forsberg is second in as many games. And Andre Burakovsky ties it up. 23 shots to 19 in favour of Quebec. Let's go. And Dylan Larkin, he scores a goal. And Baptiste gets his first of the season. Beautiful. See, look at that. The comeback victories. Doesn't matter if you've got a two-goal lead on us. We will come back and bite you in the arse. I love it. The Quebec Nordiques are a Stanley Cup contender. Leas Anderson. There you go, son, on the second line. He was our first ever draft pick in this series. He's been with our team for the last three years or so, and he's proven he should be there. He was our playoff MVP last year, of course. Leas Anderson, three points. Larkin, a goal. And Forsberg, a pair of points. So I'm glad to see that that first line is clicking very early. Leas Anderson, four points in two games as well. He's doing perfectly. Ah, now we come up against the Western Conference Final, Arizona Coyotes, who we swept in the Conference Finals, I might add. Let's see if we can beat them here again and stay undefeated. Tumen in against Dylan Strome for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, so one nothing lead. Green with his first goal as a Quebec Nordique, his first NHL goal. Congratulations, bud. 17 shots to 10 in favour of Quebec. Second period. Okay, it's a 2-1 game. Ramsey gets another one, and Tobias Reader adds one on Grubauer. 26 shots to 22 in favour of Quebec after the second period. So as we go into the third, where's that insurance marker, Quebec? Power play. Richie scores on anti Ranta. Nice one, bud. Power play for them, and Sean Couturier scores on Philip Grubauer. Okay, so it's a one-goal game once again. Can the Nordiques take this victory? I think they can. They're capable of doing it. We're a very offensive-minded team now. And as it comes to an end, Ramsey gets another goal, gets the empty netter. A 4-2 victory for the Quebec Nordiques. Ramsey, a pair of goals. Anderson, a pair of assists. And Grubauer, the third star, with only two goals against. It's not too bad. Leas Anderson going two points a game so far this season. He is playing perfectly. Well, the team's playing perfectly. We're undefeated so far. Please don't jinx that old man, Rush. <laughs> so we're up against a 1-2-0 and Dallas Stars team. And I like the fact that most of the players that we've got, especially in the bottom six, most of the players have come from drafting. Our top line have come from trades or free agency. But most of our players have actually come from drafting now, which I'm really happy about. So, first period against Dallas. Okay, so one nothing lead to them. Lars Eller scores on Corpus Allo. However, 13 shots to 6 in favour of Quebec. Come on, boys. Second period. See, there you go. There's the fight back. We get one from Baptiste, but is that Kevin Weeks' son? And Jamie Benn score on Corpus Allo. 24 shots to 16 in favour of Quebec. If it goes 4-1, we'll sim the rest of the period. But let's see if Quebec can fight back. A power play. A power play. Thank you very much, Richie. Lovely power play goal. Our power play seems to be clicking early in this season, though. Right, well, one goal down. Come on, Nordiques. You can tie this up, fellas. You can tie us up. Power play. Thank you, Nick Ritchie. He's scoring goals on the power play. I was thinking about trading him, but he's showing me why I shouldn't. So, fair play. Right, so we've managed to pull this to overtime. We were two goals down in this game, but 43 shots to 23 in favour of Quebec. We could stay undefeated. Come on, boys. Overtime. Damn it. Lars Ella. Ah, okay. We haven't been beaten in regulation, though, so that's good. We've taken a point in every single game we've played so far this season. Leas Anderson, six points in four games. He scored one goal, but he's got five assists. He's averaging over an assist a game. Uh, the New York Islanders want to give us their fourth round pick and sixth round pick for Colbert and a fifth round pick. So Colbert, how's he playing? He is 75 at 20. No, he's looking like he could actually be a decent player on my team. So no, thank you. Thanks for the offer, though. Right, so up against the San Jose Sharks. We're back at the Videotron Centre. Here we go for game five. Yeah, game five of the season. For game four. For game five of the season. There you go. Two men in against Logan Couture for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, it's a 2-1 game to them. Simone Dupre and Couture score. But Richie gets his third goal in two games to make it a 2-1 lead to San Jose. 15 shots to 10 in favour of San Jose. Second period. Okay, we managed to add one, but they get two again. Richie with another goal. He's averaging two goals in the last two games, Thornton and the Ninja Hurtle managed to get the goals. 28 shots to 19 in favour of Quebec. 
An early power play. Can we score on it? No, we cannot. Okay, so the power play's kind of cooled off a little bit. Fair play. Come on, Nordiques. Let's tie this game and take it to OT. We're only down by a pair of goals. Come on, power play. Oh, come on, boys. Thank you very much, Jonas Brodeen. I ask for a goal. Come on, one more. One more, Nordiques. You've got one more in you, fellas. Come on, boys. Ah, oh, no. We lose our first game in regulation this season. A 4-3 loss. Richie with a pair of goals, Brodeen with two points, and Thornton with two points. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. So we're going 3-1-1 one, one to start the year, though. We could finish this going 8-1-1. One, one. Let's try and do that. Let's go on a winning streak now, lads. We've taken a few L's. Let, let's go on a winning streak now for the rest of the first 10 games. Okay, let's scout forwards in the queue for a month, please. Leah Sanderson, eight points in five games. We're up against the Florida Panthers. We are currently third place in our division. But we have one game in hand on the top two teams. So let's do this, boys, against the Florida Panthers. Barkov against Lee for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, they managed to score again. We, we can't seem to get the lead in these games now. Alexander Barkov scores on Grubauer. Ten shots to nine in favor of Florida. Second period. Okay, it's a 4-1 game to them. Sammy Vatanen gets one. Huberdo, Lewis, and Barkov all score on Grubauer. 20 shots to 17 in favour of Florida. If it goes 5-1, I will see him the rest of the period. There you go. And it goes 6-1 in favour of Florida. Okay. So we had a really good start to the season. We're kind of cooled off now, fellas. We need, we need to pick this up a little bit, boys. We're going 3-2-1. I'd like to finish off 7-2-1 in our first 10 games. But we need to find out. Game number 7 at the Wells Fargo Centre against the Philadelphia Flyers, who are a 500 team. We're pretty much a 500 team as well. Giroux against Larkin for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, it's a 2-2 game. We managed to get the first goal in the game this time, so that's good. Burakovsky scores, then Konechny, then Dylan Larkin, then Duclair. Why is Grubauer playing so many games? 11 shots to 10 in favour of Philly at the end of the first. Second period. Okay, nobody scores at the end of the second. 23 shots to 18 in favour of Philly. Will times they simulate the third? Come on, Nordiques. Let's take this win here, lads. Power play. Ah, oh, come on. I was getting so used to you scoring on power plays now, boys. Come on, Nordiques. Let's get some shots on goal here, fellas. Come on, let's take this late goal. Come on, Nordiques. You know you want to, boys. And we're going to overtime. Okay, so we've guaranteed ourselves at least a point here. That's good, considering we've lost the last two games in regulation. So 33 shots to 31 in favour of Philly at the end of regulation. Overtime! Damn it, I wanted to win that in overtime. 34 shots to 33 in favour of Philly at the end of overtime. Come on, boys. Let's take the two points here. Shoot out! Thank you very much, Dylan Larkin. Appreciate it, bud. Lovely. So, Carter Hart. Wow, he gets the first star. Grubauer with the second star. And Travis Konechny with a pair of points gets the third star of the game. So, we managed to take a win. It's a shootout win, but I'll take it nonetheless. Nine points in seven games for Leas Anderson. We are... Very much up at the top of the division. Now, ah, the draft class is weaker than normal. What can you do? So, Nashville. Right, we're fourth in our division. If we win the next game, then we could jump up into first. So, that's the kind of way that this division's going at the moment. Detroit is clearly at the top of theirs. Wow. They got rid of Mantha. They got rid of Larkin. They got rid of Sveshnikov. And they're playing really well. Fair, fair dues, guys. You've got Reinhardt, in fairness. Okay, so we're at the Canadian Tire Centre, I believe, against the 1-5-1 and one Senators. If we don't win this game. So, Backland against Tumanen for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, say so 2-1 game to us. Anderson with a pair of goals. Beautiful. And then White scores with two seconds left in the period. God damn it. Against Corpusalo. Nice to see Corpusalo's back in net. Nine shots apiece. Second period. Okay, they managed to add another one. Sutter scores on Corpusalo. 24 shots to 16 in favour of the Senators after the second period. A power play and a goal for Nick Ritchie. He is our go-to power play goal guy. He seems to be the only guy that scores goals on the power play, which is a good thing because we know that we can rely on him. Who the hell are you, crap? But at the same time, Mike, Mark Stone, really? Did you have to do that? Did you have to do that, Stone? I'm really not happy with you because now you've taken the lead. Can we tie this game up, please, Quebec? Nordiques. Tie this game. Cody Cece gets the empty netter. They're the only goals he ever bloody scores. Leah Anderson with three points. And that's the only star that we got of this game. So we lose in regulation again. Wow, we're really not getting the hang of this, are we, boys? We're going 4-3-1 in our first eight games. So let's play the last two games. We've got a back-to-back. -back, Calgary, then Buffalo. 
Then we'll see if our team needs to make any changes for the next 10 games of the season. So, we're back at the Videotron Centre. Let's finish this off going 6-3-1, please, Nordiques. I'll be happy if we have a record like that. Bennett against Baptiste for the opening face-off. First period. Okay, no score after the first. 10 shots to 9 in favour of Quebec. Second period. Okay, no score after the second. This is a goaltending matchup here. 18 shots to 16 in favour of Quebec. And there you go. Dylan Larkin scores early in the period. Thank you very much. And then Richie scores on the power play again. Wow, he has scored himself a lot of power play goals. Curtis Lazar scores shorthanded by the looks of it. And it's a 2-1 game. Come on, Nordiques. Hold this lead, please, boys. Do not let them score another one. I will not be happy. Oh, my God, Nick Dowd. Oh, my goodness. I'm not happy with this. Nordiques, we just had to hold on to the lead. That Green, what a game-winning goal in the final minute of the period. Harold Green, take a bow, son. What a lovely goal. Harold Green gets a goal. That might be his first goal. I'm not quite sure. Eunice Corposalo gets the first star, and Nick Dowd gets the third star of the game. Oh, that's a good win there. 13 points in nine games for Leas Anderson. He is killing it right now. I love it. So we are very much in contention for first place in the division still. So that's good. We've had a pretty weak start to the to the season. We're against a 2-5-2 and two Buffalo Sabres. Come on, boys. Let's go 6-3-1 and one in our first 10 games. Here we go, fellas. Shayan against Larkin for the opening face-off. First period. Okay, so 3-1 game to us. Vatanen and a pair from Larkin. Devin Dubnik's playing in Buffalo. And Jack Eichel gets one on Corpusalo. 14 shots to 9 in favour of Quebec. Second period. Okay, we've managed to add another one. Nick Ritchie gets another one, probably on the power play. Riley Shea scores on Corpusalo. It's a 4-2 game. 27 shots to 17 in favour of Quebec. I'm going to risk it. Third period. Okay, good. We win 4-2. Ritchie must be going a goal a game, roughly. Forsberg with three assists. Dylan Larkin, a pair of goals. And Corpusalo. I think Ritchie got a pair of goals as well. So, Leas Anderson, 13 points in 10 games. I think we're going to have quite a few players up at a point per game. Player morale. What's going on, buds? How, how are we? How are we, Forsberg? I've been underperforming. The numbers are black and white. We need you to produce, mate. I'm glad that you accepted that. Richie, oh, I can't see how good of a season you're having just yet. So, we are at the top of our division. We are second in our division with a record of 6-3-1 and one to start the year. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. 13 points for Leas Anderson. I'm quite happy with him. 11 points for Richie. He scored 8 goals in 10 games. Larkin, 7 points. Burakovsky, 7 points. Forsberg, 7 points. Taylor Hall, only two points on the season. Really not happy with that. Eric Carlson hasn't scored a goal, but he's got seven assists this year. Seven points in ten games for Forsberg is good, but it's not good enough. Ramsey with six points. Lee with five points as well. Green with a pair of goals. Howard hasn't scored a goal yet. Neither has Nikita. Okay. No worries. So, I'm actually going to trust this team for the next ten games and see how well we do. I think they're good enough to go on a bit of a winning streak here. We've won back-to-back -back games. Let's see if we can keep this going. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go up to the away game against Nashville. And we start against Minnesota, and we lose 5-2. Brilliant. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for rewarding my trust in you, boys. Against Winnipeg on the 6th of November, 2022. We take a shootout win. I'll take it. Home against Carolina, we lose 3-1. Home against Washington, we take an overtime loss. Okay, we're really not doing very well at the moment, lads. Uh, Ulevic is out with an injured groin. I'll go best lines for them. Against Vegas, we lose 4-2. Against New Jersey, we lose 3-2. Oh my god, boys. Seriously? Um, player morale. What's up, boys? Is it falls? It's Christiani. What's up? You need to prove to me that you can get out there. It had no impact. Fair enough. Come on, beat the Rangers, please. Against the Rangers, we lose 2-1. Okay, so we're now an under 500 team. Good. We, we beat the Chicago Blackhawks. That's good. Let's start a winning streak here, fellas. We've gone on a bit of a losing streak. Now let's start a winning streak. Uh, let's go forwards for a month in the O. Oh, Slater Kokowek, he can piss off. Good, a win against Edmonton. Come on, let's win against Columbus. Good, there you go. So we've basically erased the majority of that losing streak there. So we're 10, 8, and 2 to start this season so far. Quite happy with that. We're third in our division. Only, only four points back from Nashville and first. We've got to play them now. 19 points in 20 games for Elias Anderson. So he's playing quite well. But a bit of a drop off on his points. Uh, 18 points for Richie. He's dropped off on his goals. But he's getting assists. Only 14 points for Carlson and Forsberg. 13 points for Burakovsky. Taylor Hall's added a few more points. But I think we need to... I need to, 
I think we need to shake up these lines, to be fair. I think we need to shake up what's going on here. Because uh, the, this lineup just at the moment really isn't cutting it, to be fair. So if we go best lines... So we've got Forsberg. So Taylor Hall's been dropped to the second line. Ramsey's been dropped to the third. Okay, so who's scratched now then? Scratched is Tumanin. Well, I want him to play because he's a young player and he's meant to be a, a third or fourth line guy. So I'd rather play him than Tierney. And then defense remains the same. Goaltending, how are we doing goaltending wise? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to go up until halfway through the season. Hopefully this change to best lines will have made a bit of an impact here. I'm hoping so anyway. So we need 21 games here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, we're going up to a home game against Minnesota. So, we start with a game against Nashville. We take a 6-2 win. Good. Four-game winning streak. Shootout win against Colorado. Five-game winning streak. Henrik Pettersstrom's got a concussion. It's only mild, though, so that's better than better than a full-blown full one. Wow, we've won another game in a shootout. Uh, RFAs against the Islanders. We take a loss. Okay, so we had a six-game winning streak there. And it was snapped in a 3-2 loss against the Islanders. Let's not go on a losing streak. 3-0 loss. Uh, Nate Schmidt has become a a, uh, a waiver claim. Nah, I don't want him. I'm alright, thanks. Against Montreal. Good. So we've bounced back from two losses. Sebastian Olsen, we pick up a win again. I don't want to go on a long losing streak here. Good. Erase those two losses with back-to-back -back wins. Taylor Hall's been injured with a sore knee. That's a pain in the ass. Against Tampa, we lose 3-1. But at least we have Forsberg up on that first line. Sebastian Olsen's back. Against St. Louis, overtime win. Good. Against Detroit, 5-2 win. Good. Against Boston, come on, let's get a win here. Taylor Hall's back, perfect. Against Boston, a 3-0 win. Against Pittsburgh, a 4-3 shootout win. We're getting a lot of shootout wins, but it shows that we, we can win games when the going gets tough. So, we're 19-11-2 so far this season. Against Tirana, we take a 3-0 loss. Against Arizona, oh, Colin Lee's been injured. Damn. Against Arizona, a 5-2 win. Good, good. A 5-1 win against Dallas. We've won 20 games this season already. So I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're going to have a good season here. Just need to keep this consistency through the second half of the year, to be honest. Colin Lee's back. Perfect. We'll go best lines. Let The, ga the game seems to know what the best lines are, and they know how to get wins for us, so may as well let them do it. So against San Jose, we take a 5-4 win. We can get these one-goal wins more often than not, which is good. The 1st of January, Happy New Year! It's against Florida. We're 22, 12, and 2 so far this season. Not too bad of a record. Got five more games left to play this episode. Come on, boys, let's do this. Uh, Stenland is back against Florida. We take a shootout win. I'll take it. Against Philly, we take a... Um, come on, game. Come on. There you go. 3-1 win. Laval's playing all right, but nothing special. Against Ottawa, a 3-0 win. Allowed two goals in the last three games. A 3-0 win. And then a 7-1 win against Buffalo. Wow. 27-12-2. We've allowed three goals in the last five games. That is a solid defensive work. So we are currently on a 1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8 game winning streak. I'm sure it's going to be snapped by this game against Minnesota at the start of next episode. But that's a solid effort there. 40 points in 41 games for Elias Anderson. We're first place in our division by a point. We are we are second place in the league, ladies and gents, in terms of overall record. So we're playing perfectly. Elias Anderson, 40 points on the season. He's an 11-goal scorer. Forsberg, 33 points. Taylor Hall, 28 points. Ritchie, 31 points. So they're, they're on pace. Anderson's on pace to almost have a point per game the entire season, which would hopefully get his overall up a lot higher. Dylan Larkin, 27 points. Ramsey, 27 points. How many points did he get last year? He got 45. So he's on pace to beat his last season totals. Carlson, 26 points. He's had a drop. But um, the other players have taken the slack now, so that's good. Uh, has everybody scored their first NHL goal? Christiani hasn't. Yeah, so Tumanen, Green, they've all scored their first NHL goal, so that's good. Okay, so this is looking really good now, guys, in terms of where we are. Our win percentage. What's our power play percentage? We've we've allowed less than 100 goals this season, though. Power play's up at 20.6%. 20 I wonder where that ranks in the entire league. So we are second place in the entire league in terms of points. Power play percentage. We are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ninth place with power play. And with penalty kill, we're not that good. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're, we've got a mediocre penalty kill, but we've got a decent power play. Probably mostly Nick Ritchie, in fairness. But I'm really happy with how this team's playing. 27, 12, and 2. We're on pace to, to win 54 games this season. That would be incredible. I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty impressive. So next episode, we will play through the second half of the 22-23 NHL season. And we will see if, if the Quebec Nordiques can win the President's Trophy. They've been close before. I think they can do it again. So yes, I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.